been an adult. What type of boundaries would you like to establish? What is and when it comes to food? When, and when it comes to food to support your recovery. Let's not look at me. Let's not comment on on my weight or my size that day. I agree. I, I don't want to hear who's exercising five hours a day, who's on a diet. That that triggers me. But see, Leonora, you need to stand up for yourself. No, but it, it is. It hurts my feelings when people tell me you need to go to the gym or eat this. Or I eat hear that. you. I'm I like, hear you. Are you kidding me? Here. You have to stand up I'll for yourself. Let's slow down. I'll you give you two easy words, words to reply. Piss off. There you go. Yeah, but they're also family. They're also friends. Tell them to piss off. But it, it's hard for if me. If there are any real that. friends or if there are any real family, they'll shut up. You know, and change the subject. Oh yeah. What are you feeling right now? Pissed off because I just can't believe this is an issue. Tell them to go f off. I didn't know I was going to be this hard, and I didn't realize how many things I have to face. I have just constant anxiety, and I felt angry at my mom and resentment, and I don't have any answers for anything right now. What do you need to hear from her? What do you need to hear from her? That it's OK. What's OK? That if I have to gain weight. Of course it's OK. But you have to remember that it wasn't always OK with you. I That's know that. it's so hard oh, for no, me. Oh, no, I, Leonora, no one knows that better than me. You need to find the strength to know in your heart that we were all screwed up. You did nothing wrong. And that you are worthy of eating a meal. And you are worthy of raising your child. And you are worthy of laughing again and having fun and maybe meeting someone to build a life with. You are worthy of all that. So it goes back to what you'll be learning to do here is um, come to grow into who you are and more and more. And soon, I don't think it will matter. And that what you're going to be able to do is find your voice more and more and say what you need to say either through a letter or. That's what I mean when I say buck up. Which is so obnoxious. Oh, I can't believe it came out. That's <laughs> great. Doesn't she know? That is the most. That is the no, most. No, but that really is. I, I never knew how that. to put it in words. I don't appreciate hearing that. I think it's so obnoxious. Buck up. Like, I really do find that to be offensive. Buck up. You go buck up. Because it's not that easy just to buck the hell up. It's like a light just went off. I want you to find your voice. Oh, I'll find my voice. Good. I think Can you I? just started to. And you're angry. Because I hate that saying, it belittles no. my problems. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but maybe that just can buck the hell up. But you had to get it in there again today. Buck up. I didn't tell you just now to buck up. Let's be clear. Yeah, I think you did. No, what I just said was, that's what I've been trying to say all these years. OK, well, I'll find my voice in a calm way, right. maybe. So no, not maybe. You have to. So you don't have a choice. You have a kid. You have to find your voice, and you have to let the world know you've arrived. And that's the end of that story. Are you feeling better physically? I do. It's so weird. For like the first time, a few days ago, I said, I feel OK. Like, it's, I'm just not used to feeling OK. Yeah, I mean, you, you were like, when I met you, it was just so yeah. depleting. I know it's very easy to go back. You know, I have one foot in life right now and one foot in darkness. And I can go either way. Did they take you off the Xanax and Klonopin everything. also? They took off you off of everything. everything. Good, yeah. yeah. I think the foot that's in life is a little bit more grounded. Do you still feel like you're a flight risk? Like I'm going to leave? Yeah. No, I can't tell my daughter I gave up. But you know, I realized that it really came down to life and death, it, that how mm -hmm. close I truly was. And uh, I can't go back. Everyone's telling me all this stuff I have to face. I'm just like, OK, a little overwhelming, but mm -hmm. I'll face it. I'll do it. I have hope. You know, Tracy Gold has given me hope when I didn't have any. Once you're done with detox, you'll move into the Harmony Grove. Harmony Grove, yeah. House. Because it's really scary to think about what could have happened if I was not given this gift. If I was not given this opportunity, I probably would be dead. The cycle breaks here. Yeah. The cycle stops here. Yes, it has to. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Thank I you. know. This is going to be good. This is the beginning of the end of the torture you've put your body through.